Okay. Now live, 23 News at noon. And your host, Bill Manders. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 23 News at noon. On today's show, our Dialing for Dollars jackpot is at $293 and growing. That, unless we uh, have a winner today, we'll make a phone call in just a moment. You're watching KERO TV Bakersfield. This is 23 News with Bill Manders, Burtley Smith, and Charmaine Wilkerson. Now live, 23 News at noon. Hello, everyone, and welcome to 23 News at noon. Coming up today, we'll talk with Frances Kendrick. She is the president of the Alzheimer's Association of Kern County. Good evening, I'm Robin Mangren. It's 1028 and 44 degrees outside. Authorities at this hour are searching a local park for a suspect in a stabbing there. We'll have the latest on a Bakersfield man believed kidnapped in Columbia. A recall is in effect tonight for some one million condoms, and an environmental group is saying that PG&E rates are on the way up. We'll tell you why. Also tonight, Kurt at Night will tell us what's hot and what's not this season in the world of toys. And Miles will have the forecast for tomorrow, and Kurt Sandoval was fourth. Stay up with us tonight for 23 News at 11. A transient is stabbed tonight, and police are looking for his attacker. The United Nations inches closer to a vote of force against Iraq. I'm Jim Scott. And I'm Robin Mangren. 23 News at 11 is coming your way in just a few minutes. We're watching KERO TV 23, celebrating 40 years with you, Bakersfield. Good afternoon, Kern County. From Bakersfield's News Channel, this is 23 News at Noon. The bomb squad is called out this morning in South Bakersfield as officials try to defuse a tense situation. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Kimball. Kern County Sheriff's deputies encountered explosives this morning while conducting an investigation. Good evening, Kern County. From Bakersfield's News Channel, this is 23 News at Night. A day of terror for a grocery clerk ends as police subdue a woman who held her hostage. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gail Asayama. It happened in the town of Renton, Washington. Tomorrow, I'm Toy Cupshin. Dave Branch joins me. The news is next. Now, from Bakersfield 23, Toy Cupshin, Dave Branch, live at 6.30. Good evening. I'm Toy Cupshin. Topping our news, more than one person may be responsible for last... Coming next on 23 News at 11, three oil dull residents have been missing for the last two weeks. Today, a piece of the puzzle is found. We'll have the details. Plus, another cra plane crash in Southern California. Yesterday, two were killed. Today, three lives were claimed. And she was stabbed several times, leaving a southwest Bakersfield neighborhood in shock. Stay right here. 23 News at 11 is next. This is 23 News at 11. There's no mercy for those tempting the river of death. Today, another body is pulled out of the Kern River. Good evening, Kern County. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Wang. Carly, Jackie Parks. Todd Carley and Jackie Parks would follow, anchoring the news together for 15 years. Now, standing up for Kern County, this is 23 News at 11. There are a few details tonight surrounding... Watching 23 ABC News at 5, the right choice. Now, standing up for Kern County, this is 23 News at 11. A cheap shot on the ice has ignited a heated debate. You're watching 23 News at 11 with Mike Hart, Sports with Pep, and Doug Eye, the weather guy. KERO 23, standing up for you. The station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 5. A young man makes a tearful apology in a local conviction that's the first of its kind in the nation. A groundbreaking murder conviction and sentencing from the Kern County Courts. The station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 11. Thank you for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Amanda Gomez, in for Jackie Parks. And I'm Troy Campbell. Now, it's an explosive social issue, and it has split our country. Same-sex marriage is going before the highest court. Tomorrow, the justices will hear arguments in two cases, what could change the lives of some same-sex couples forever. 
the station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 11. Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. Tim Callahan has the night off. Well, the countdown to New Year's Eve is on, and though it's the biggest party of the year, getting home after it's over could mean trouble for you or your wallet. Now, with the latest breaking news, live reports from around Kern County, and your latest weather with Storm Shield Doppler. From the KERO studios in downtown Bakersfield, this is 23 ABC News. A local community reacting tonight after a man helps police find the man that they think is behind the New York and New Jersey bombings. The bombings injured 29 people. We have been tracking those developments since the story broke Saturday night. And now, with the latest breaking news, live reports from around Kern County, and your latest weather with Storm Shield Doppler. From the KERO studios in downtown Bakersfield, this is 23 ABC News. And we begin tonight with our extreme heat temperatures well over the century mark, forcing the Kern High School District to cancel games and practices at several high schools. Soccer games at Ridgeview Frontier called off. Students told to go home as those coaches canceled indoor and outdoor activities. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Ochoa. But there were some athletes going against the advice of professionals choosing to run a race in this extreme heat. And Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. Good morning and thanks for staying with us for 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Melissa Flores. And I'm Mike Hart. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk because the day is flying by, kind of like yeah. these winds flying in and out all over the place. <laughs> right, so the winds yeah. kicked up right on sky. Oh, they were a couple hours late, but kicked okay. up on Saturday as expected. Yeah. Kicked up some blowing dust too. Everyone, yes. everyone at Village Fest wanted to thank you for those, by the way. <laughs> Not my fault, I promise. Well, I from downtown Town Bakersfield, 23 ABC News, starts now. New numbers from Kern County Public Health about the local battle against the coronavirus. We have the latest on patients that are no longer contagious. Good morning and thanks for joining us here at 23 ABC News. On your Saturday morning, I'm Tori Cooper. We have a lot in store for you this morning. Some good news, some glimmers of hope surrounding COVID-19 and some good air quality. We always love starting out with that, Alex, don't we? Yes, it is going to be beautiful out this Easter weekend. We are going to see some great air quality, but let's take a look at our temperatures right now. Currently, we are at 55 degrees. That is a five degree increase than what we saw 24 hours ago. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Jessica Harrington. Tonight's top stories, COVID-19 testing problems, local health officials speaking out about the issues concerning incomplete data from lab reports, what this means for the community and why it's happening. And reaching every student as the school year quickly approaches, we'll take you to one of the smaller districts in the county, more than 120 years old, and show you how they're dealing with the challenge of learning at a distance. Plus, the new technology being used to disinfect planes, more on how it works and which airline is using it. 23 ABC News at 6 starts now. Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News at 6 starts now. And a good evening to you. The Public Health Department reporting issues with incomplete data and duplicate test results being sent to them. Tonight, we're getting a clearer picture of what's really going on at public health, testing sites, and local labs that's causing our numbers to be scattered and questioned. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper sat down with the Director of Public Health, Matt Constantine, to get an explanation. She's joining us live tonight from Kern County Public Health with more on what he had to say about why reports are coming in incomplete to public health. Tori. Yeah, Jessica, before tonight, it was still very unclear where these incomplete COVID-19 test results were coming from. But Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News at 6 starts now. Welcome. We begin tonight with an apartment fire that sparked in a complex in South Bakersfield. Now several families need assistance. According to Bakersfield Fire Department officials, the fire sparked at about 3 p.m. in a complex on South M Street near Wilson Road and South Chester Avenue. The Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News at 11 starts now. Good evening. A stabbing in Wasco left one woman in critical condition and another injured before leading to a deputy involved shooting. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden spoke with a family member of one of the stabbing victims and tells us what we know about the moments leading up to that shooting last night. 
Good evening and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Callum Hallman in for Jessica Harrington. Tonight's top stories thriving during times of struggle. A look at a local restaurant making it through the COVID-19 pandemic. How they're managing to not only stay open but expand. And three people lost their lives on Kern County roads last night. From DUIs to reckless driving, we're looking at ways to stay safe as you navigate the new year. 23 ABC News at 11 starts now. Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News at 11 starts now. Managing a restaurant through a pandemic has been tough with all the challenges, including a current ban on outdoor dining in Kern County. But one local eatery is continuing to bring the seven seas to Southwest Bakersfield. Live from Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News at 430 and it starts now. Governor Newsom pleading with schools to reopen for in-person learning. We'll tell you how California's race to get back in the classroom compares to other states. Live from Kern County, I'm now the fourth leader. United States president this is 23 to preside ABC over News American troop presence in Afghanistan. And it starts now. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. Live from Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News at 6, and it starts now. Governor Newsom now pleading with schools to reopen for in-person learning. I'll tell you how California is racing to try and get kids back in the classroom. Live from Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News Midday, and it starts now. Good morning and thanks for watching 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Brenna Rose. This morning, Gavin Newsom is in Alameda County visiting a vaccination site as the state expands eligibility to everyone 16 and older. The state's expansion of eligibility for the COVID vaccine comes weeks after Kern County started following, started allowing rather anyone 16 and older to get the shot. Local pastors here in Bakersfield respond to the shooting death of Dante Wright at the hands of police. Their plans for his vigil. We delivered justice to bin Laden a decade ago, and we've stayed in Afghanistan for a decade since. The president saying today the war is over. It was a very nice April day today. We have more nice spring weather in the forecast. 23 ABC News at 5 starts now. Live from Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News at 5, and it starts now. Good evening, as always. Thank you so much for joining us again tonight. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight on air or by streaming us for 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Alex Bell. Tonight's top story, stadiums are getting ready to open their doors this weekend, how they're doing it and what it means to them. And Liliana Carrillo, the L.A. woman charged with four felony counts, appeared in Kern County Court today. We'll have more. Plus, how people across the nation are reacting to the shooting death of Dante Wright, including here locally. We'll have more coming up. 23 ABC News at 6 starts now. Live from Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News at 6, and it starts now. Good evening, as always. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Day in Bakersfield, more spring weather on the way. It starts now. From Kern County streaming news leader, this is 23 ABC News at 7, and it starts now. <laughs> All right, now we're starting now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. The woman accused of killing her three children in Los Angeles and carjacking appeared in a local court today. Coming up tonight at 11, today, Corn County opened their drive through vaccination, and tomorrow, the state is expanding vaccine eligibility. This comes as the county enters a new tier. All the latest COVID information coming up ahead. The victims of crime, we really want to help them be able to move on with their lives by um, helping them pay some of the bills that they might have. California program is working to relieve financial stress caused by violence. The impact of the victim compensation in Kern County. Brandon. Today was a really nice day for us. Nice and comfortable. We're going to keep some comfortable weather around. 23 ABC News at 11 starts now. Live from Kern County streaming news leader. This is 23 ABC News at 11 and it starts now. 
Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for 23 ABC News at 11, also available live on your favorite streaming platform. I'm Alex Bell. Corn County is no stranger to crime, including a record number of homicides last year. The aftermath of these situations can be mentally and financially taxing, which is why a California program wants to help relieve some of that stress. You're watching 23 ABC Cable 8.